Sharks. My name is Sophie Nistico. I'm from Trumbull, Connecticut, and I am here seeking $250,000 for 10% of my business. Sharks, you may not be able to tell from the big smile that I have on my face, but I cry and I cry a lot. But guess what? We all cry because we're human. Kevin, I know you have a tough exterior, but I've seen even you shed a tear in the tank. Never happens. <laughs> <laughs> I'm on a mission to destigmatize mental health as it's not something that we should hide, but rather something that we should embrace and wear it proudly. Mm. And that's exactly why I created See the Way I See, a size inclusive mental health awareness clothing brand that emphasizes positive affirmations in a way that's never been done before. What we do is simple. We add signature, reassuring reminders to the sleeves of your sweatshirts to give people that little boost that they find themselves needing. So, Lori, if you're anything like me, you're an overthinker. <laughs> Just remember to breathe in and breathe out. <laughs> and Mark, if you're ever feeling anxious about all the deals you have in the works, just look to your sleeve to be reminded that this feeling too shall pass. And I get it. If you don't want to wear your heart in your literal sleeve, we also have rings, stickers, keychains, and so much more to give people that reminder to carry with them throughout the day. Sharks, I've built a community through the power of social media, and my followers are with me every step of the way. Together, we are breaking down barriers to end the stigma surrounding common mental health struggles once and for all. So what do you say? Are you ready to see the way I see? Sharks, in front of you is a crew neck, a keychain, and a sticker that I designed, so feel free to check them out and get in your feels. Sophie had it. <laughs> I, love, I love that. Uh, I'm pretty cool, but I cry a lot. You know, I, uh, I, 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 I think that having the, the stitching in, in words in places that you wouldn't necessarily find them. I think that is absolutely awesome. As somebody who has designed uh, plenty of, of shirts and, and apparel over the years, uh, I think that these are – that's pretty neat. I, I, I like it. I think it's uh, – it's pretty powerful. It also goes along with the fact that um, I should be coming out with some new designs to, in my shop, shopsuperjoe.com, uh, in the coming uh, couple weeks here. Uh, hopefully here, uh, working with my wife to, to come up with some uh, some shirts and, and some different uh, apparel there. So, and kind of really filling out the, the store. So if you want, go check it out, uh, shopsuperjoe.com. Now there's already some stuff over there, but we'll have some more soon. Anyway, I I think having the key word there is community. Look, we have the super community over here, and I think that building a community around your business is – it's not necessarily key depending on what industry, what, what type of business you're in, but if you can find a way to build a community around even – service-based businesses that wouldn't normally have some kind of community. I think you're on your way to building uh, a, a fan base and a, or not just a customer base, but a fan base that will go to bat for you online, show up in the reviews, show up in the comments, show up in, uh, in, in, in local um, like Facebook groups for, for, you know, local communities uh, where they'll, you know, be, yeah, you got to go check this company out because this is blah, 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 blah. And that's why we're, I want to recommend them because they did this and this and they took care of me. Um, so there's a lot of ways to go about doing that, building that community. And I think that if you're not doing some form of that with your business, I think you're missing the boat because that is where people, uh, especially younger generations, uh, are are looking, you know, Gen X forward are looking to those communities uh, to be a part of, to feel like they're a part of the brand, and, and older older generations as well. Uh, you know, if you take like the Harley Davidson uh, lifestyle, that that's just one example. It was like you buy the bike, but you're also you getting the club, but then you're also buying all the clothes and the apparel to go with it. So um, I'm really curious to see uh, how what Sophie's doing as far as sales. Uh, cause 250,000 for 10% is, is, you know, $2.5 million valuation is a lot there, but, uh, anyway, stick to stick to stick to stay tuned to the end of this video. Cause we're going to check out Sophie's website, social media, as well as feature one of your comments from down below in the super community at the end of this video. You should come up with your business idea. You know, since I was young, I've always had a passion for helping others. I always knew that I wanted to be a nurse. And, you know, going into high school, I started to develop pretty severe anxiety. Fast forward to my sophomore year of nursing school, I started to develop even more severe anxiety. So I decided to go down to part-time 
And in that time, I refound my passion for art that I've had since I was 10. I took the $500 that I had in my bank account, I bought a printer and a sticker cutting machine. I started to design mental health based stickers. I started selling them online and I just continued to reinvest the money until I was able to actually purchase my first order of crewnecks. And I thought that it was gonna take at least two to three to four months to sell 100 sweatshirts and I was willing to do it. But to my surprise, it only took two days for it to Damn, sell. Oh what my happened? gosh. Wow. Nice. What happened? So I have been using social media for as long as it's been out but I was able to use it to my advantage at this point where I was sharing my art on my page, which was called See the Way I See. So that was also where the name came from. You were seeing my art from my perspective. So something's wow. happening here. Are you spending a lot of money on advertising or not? None. I am. This is pure community. None. 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 You go. That's awesome. Sophie, what do you think you're going to be doing this year? So sales for this year would be $260,000. <laughs> is that year to date? Wow. Or? Actually, I'm sorry. Right. That was $260,000 in 24 hours. What? Wait, wait, wait. wait. Wait a second. All right, hold on. There. She's sharking the. She's sharking the sharks here, um, because you're. You're all right. So, so she just played her anxiety. Like you know, if you you have all this anxiety and you're you know on one of the most like public speaking is is you know worse than death according to polls and people, but she's doing it on the biggest stage. One of the biggest stages on the planet right now and here she just you know sharked the sharks with her uh two hundred and sixty thousand dollars and you know to it there's not that's nothing to sneeze at and then to say it's in uh in 24 hours that is incredible and it goes to show you the power of a community it goes to show, show you the power of a message and if you want to build your own avatar uh, i have a free avatar builder go to joeparter.com slash avatar drop your email address in you'll get 64 questions in a pdf and it takes a while to figure it out but once you you know to answer answer all the questions but once you go through it you're going to have a really good idea of who you're trying to speak to um, or you're going to know who who you need to speak to uh, that person's significant other or their parent to to and then make a uh, another avatar just for that person based on that original avatar. But that's what you need to go do. Uh, and then you can start to build that community around around that um, that avatar. It'll be a really easy to a lot easier to market to that person once you know exactly who they are what language speaks to them and all the, th the decisions that they're making. Let's take a couple steps. You're selling your stuff based off of drops then apparently. Yes, exactly. Okay. I'm so trying to do a drop a month. Rather than having something for sale all the time, mm -hmm. you make an announcement on social exactly. media. If you're doing it right, then there's a frenzy. Everybody tries to get it and it sells out quickly, right? Yes. And so this is your primary product? Your, uh, the crewnecks and hoodies, yes. Okay, so crewnecks and hoodies, what do you sell them for and what do they cost you to make? Crewnecks, I sell them for $60 retail and they cost $21 landed. Okay, to make. and hoodies? Hoodies, um, I charge $75 and those cost about $25. Okay, landed. this year, year to date? Year to date, year to date is $790,000. Whoa! Wow. And how many people are in your company? Just me. Oh. You are making a boatload of money. Congratulations. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> I, How old I are you? cannot wait to go and look at her social media and see what was. I mean, I opened it up. I have it here on the, you know, you could like, I have it, but uh, I haven't actually looked at it. So I uh, can't wait to go and check that out because, I mean, we hear stories about this all the time. Like, I mean, we see it with YouTube. You're on YouTube right now, right? There's plenty of YouTubers that are making that kind of I can promise you I'm not making that kind of money on any of the uh, stuff to date that I've made. Um, I don't know that I would. I tried to go the drop route before with some of my designs and things like that, but uh, it just didn't it just, it just didn't have enough. Uh, oomph to it and now that we're you know I've, i brought my wife in to uh help with the shop side uh maybe we'll do we'll do some things like that uh do some special drops and things and uh and grow it that way 24 what's taking you so 24 long? years <laughs> so how much money is in your bank account right now 
So I just had a drop, and I need to purchase my next drop. But it's around four hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Nice. <laughs> All right. Wow. Well, that's profit, but you're just reinvesting your profit. Exactly. Right. I've started with five hundred dollars in my bank account, and I've grown it to this point with yeah, nothing. Yeah. Yeah. You know what? I'm, I'm getting guessing. anxiety. Wow. Listen, I have a credit for it. <laughs> <laughs> for sure. I got a, I got an idea of a business that I want to start. I'll sell you twenty percent for four hundred and fifty thousand dollars. Well, you're selling to her. Yeah, she got the money. <laughs> <laughs> so, what do you need a shark for? You're doing so well. So, I'm proud of myself for how far I've gotten it, but I have zero background in business. My family has zero background in business, and I just feel like I'm hitting that point where I need a mentor. Sophie, why do you think you're worth? 2.5 million bucks. So, total sales for my company has been just over 2.3 mil. Nice. And right. I'm projecting to finish at a million this year, and then next year, 1.75. I just continue to see this business growing and continuing to scale. How much did you make on that 2.3 million? So, the first year was $900,000 in sales, and that was the year that I really did not know what I was doing. <laughs> so, I profited still a good number, around 115000 And then the next year, 2021, I made $640,000 in sales, profited around 235000 And then this year, wow. 790000 So I'm starting, I'm finding my way. You You're know? a star. You're the, <laughs> you know, to, to, when you think that you don't know something and then you go and you prove it on one of the biggest stages, like ding, ding, right? Uh, I think it just goes to show you that clearly she does have a great understanding i think sometimes people that don't have that background um and and have that anxiety um feel like you're missing out like i i know i have felt that way like people will drop terms or you know they'll say like say words and things and it's like i i i don't that's not the same terminology that i'm used to or or are we talking about the same thing? Do I am I sure that I understand it? Because I'll talk in uh, acronyms or whatever and try to make it sound all fancy. When at the end of the day, it's just numbers, right? It's input and output, just like a computer. Um, you you get what you put into it, uh, and 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 hopefully you get out more than what you put you know you put into it. So yeah, I you know when you I know people like. I know people that are dyslexic that run m tens of millions of dollars in business a year. Um, you don't have to – like you, that anxiety isn't real, right? Every business – while business is still numbers and it's within a framework and you get to build with inside of that box of called a business – Every business can be unique, and that's one of the reasons why, like, I, you know, me personally, when I work with business owners, uh, I don't have the specific plan, right? I, I feel like, it, you know, or the specific, like, made-for-you-in-a-box plan for your business. Um, I think that every business is is unique uh, to the people who run it and to the customers in which they serve. Uh, and while certain you know principles can work, uh, I, I you know building your avatar right go to joeparty.com slash avatar uh, or or certain tactics in sales, certain tactics in marketing can work and be universal. Uh, I, I I think that how you you know, what works for you isn't going to necessarily work for everyone else. And I think that what Sophie has done on a figuring out how to scale, uh, you know, just some shirts, some, some apparel into, into a ridiculously sized business who that's all operated by her is absolutely awesome. Now, I don't know if she's drop shipping, um, you know, if she's working with a printer to, to make these happen or if she's uh, gone and, and making it herself. But there's a lot more profit if she's making it herself. And if that's the case, so she's already figured out the process. But I mean, to me, it sounds like she would be really bogged down uh, and not have the time to have the creativity that's needed to be able to continue to foster that community if she was worried about printing shirts and mailing shirts and all the logistics of that end. Um, you know, it, it, it sounds to me like social media, like it's a classic social media influencer situation. Um, there was the 
the guy with the the rings. He had the spoon rings um, that he would do drops and, and did really well, and ended up with uh, doing the old Kevin. So we'll we'll see who if, who uh, decides to take the journey with her. Maybe maybe Damon. This cash flow should bring a lot of peace to you. <laughs> I mean, I got to tell you that I don't really know how to help you. A lot of people talk about when they're sitting or standing where you are, what's going to happen. Just listening to what already happened gives you 100% street cred. I mean, it's unreal. So this thing where you don't know anything about business, I don't really <laughs> buy it anymore, okay? I mean, it's you're doing better than 90% of the people that stand in front of me there. That's just incredible. Thank you. But look, I, I, it, it's not a fit for me. I don't know how to help you. You're killing it. Thank you. But for that reason, I'm out. Okay. People should be able to show their emotions, and that's probably why we're in such a bad situation, because people shame you for doing that. So I applaud you, Thank for, you. for doing this. But you don't need our help. I think you're doing excellent. And right now, you have a great community. That community is searching for people like you who yeah. they resonate with, and they're ready to support you, and the proof is here. You don't need me. I don't think I'll add much value, uh, so I'm out. Okay, thank you. I, I, I could not agree more. You know, communication is key. Uh, it's the dirty C word, as, as I call it. Um, we, you know, people ask, uh, oh, how you doing? Ah, I'm, I'm good. No, you know, what's the use of complaining? Nobody would listen anyway, and things of that nature. Um, I don't love that, uh, that approach. I, I feel like it's... Uh, it's it's patronizing and while we all don't all have the benefit of time and energy to be able to listen to everyone and every situation um you know i, I think that if you and i challenge you as the super community uh to take you know take a few minutes and and listen to to somebody that you wouldn't necessarily listen to that you don't necessarily know just to hear their their take on something their their uh their their complaints their the challenges that they're going through their struggles and um you know you can learn a lot from listening to people like i i always say i don't listen or i don't read books but i i talk with people i i learn from their experiences and i i try to take those experiences and bring them uh to my own life and and then ultimately to to the rest of you um you know in in the community and the people i'm around and work with and uh, in charge of and, and all that. So, um, I, I think that giving that opportunity for people to realize like, Hey, uh, I, I, you know, this person is feeling anxious or this person is, you know, overthinking everything. Um, in this case of a Sophie, she is overthinking it. She does obviously know business, but it doesn't mean that she knows every facet, but she knows the facets to get it done for her. Right. She's getting it done on her end. Um, I, you know, personally, I don't, I don't think she really needs a deal. I think she needs a, a mentor, um, somebody, you know, maybe a coach, uh, to help her get over the, some of the hurdles, the mental hurdles, the, uh, hurdles that she's put in, imposing on herself. Um, and, and Sophie, if you, you know, if you want reach out, I uh, would be happy to help you, uh, make that, make that happen. But, um, but yeah, I, I, you just, I don't. I kind of don't think that any shark's gonna end up offering you a deal here. Listen, I think you're amazing. Thank you. I had no business background. <laughs> a true entrepreneur to me is somebody who knows how to drive a business. You have great instincts and you figured it out. You actually maybe don't realize it, but you are a businesswoman. You already are. Thank you. I would not feel good taking a percentage of your company. I don't think you need it. I will be a supporter, not an investor. So I'm not. Thank you so much. So True entrepreneurs, uh, I always say entrepreneurs are problem solvers. That's what it's about. It's not necessarily about driving business or you're just solving a problem, solving a problem. See a problem, overthink that problem, solve that problem. See the next problem, solve that problem and go and go and go and go and just keep moving forward uh, with it. So, yeah, I, I don't I, uh, I, I don't. I don't disagree, but I don't totally agree. I, I don't think it. I don't think it's just about driving business. I, I I think it's about just problem solving and being a professional problem solver. What does being an entrepreneur mean to you? It means, you know, to me, it shows me that I'm capable of a lot more than what I thought I was. 
because it let me find that I am capable of doing this. And to become an entrepreneur is just something that I never thought. Not, I never thought I'd be standing here alone, so, you know. What, what you've been able to accomplish is insane, right? And I'll caution you that, right, let your community grow your business, not a team. Because when you bring in a team, you try to act like an old school business because that's what people think they sh they're supposed to do for a business. Be who you are to your community and your community will, you'll grow with it. And you don't want an investor for that because you're already putting money in the bank and all we'd be doing is taking what you earn, right? Keep on being you, keep on doing what you're doing because it's, it's amazing. But Thank you. I just wouldn't feel right. So for those reasons, I'm out. Thank you. You're welcome. Um, it's very disheartening for somebody to hear such positive feedback and then not get the result that you're looking for. Um, that's that's that is a tough. Uh, it's it that is tough, but it's not untrue. <laughs> it's not untrue, right? I think it's interesting that uh, he asked her what what she felt you know being an entrepreneur meant and uh having having confidence looks there's plenty of people that have confidence uh and and a lot of them those people are marketing and sales people and a lot of those people that are overconfident and they're marketing people uh generally are scam <laughs> artists so uh that you know they're just looking for the next thing to sell the next you know it's crypto it's nft it's ai it's whatever the flavor of the next you know three to i don't know 18 months is and uh, amazon fba like that that's that's the thing so um i i try to uh, you know let you know that that's that's the types of things that you don't want to be getting falling in traps for trust yourself pat let things pass the eye test if it sounds too good to be true it probably is too good to be true you know i think your great strength is your vulnerability you would be hard pressed to convince me that you were the least bit anxious on this carpet today you have no idea <laughs> you really? have no idea well, you've got quite an act going because I couldn't pick it up and I'm listening carefully. Oh. Um, like the other sharks here, uh, my problem, I don't mind investing in your deal. You're a winner. But I like to feel important and I, I play a key role with every one of my entrepreneurs. You know, either a mother, grandmother, advocate, supporter, basher, whatever they need, I become. <laughs> what would I do for you? I think Mark put it best where I, maybe I'm in that old mindset of where I think I need a team. I'm not as clear on that answer anymore, to be honest. You're not um, sure you even need a shark. We're convincing you you don't need anything. I don't know. I mean, all of you guys have such great points. <laughs> so yeah. I still feel as though I would need that extra guidance, but maybe that's the overthinker in me, you know? Yeah. Because you've come full circle on that, I'll go out for sure. Yeah, you Thank don't you. need anybody. Thank you. All right. So we're all out. We're sorry we wasted your time. <laughs> <laughs> you guys, this has been eye-opening for me. Thank Good you guys luck. so much. Thank Good you. Luck. Thank Good you. luck, Congrats, Sophie. Sophie. Thank wow. you. Well, she just went up a notch in self-confidence. Yeah. yeah. What a star. That was sure very difficult so. for me to do, but they really did give me a boost of self-confidence. <sighs> I did it. I never thought that I would be standing here today, let alone being capable of actually forming a pitch and practicing it and saying it in front of the sharks. But after today, I really feel as though I can almost do anything. <laughs> yeah, uh, absolutely. I would, uh, I would agree. So let's check out Sophie's website, anxious overthinker. So, uh, I'm guessing that they probably have some kind of, so it's, it goes in drops. So well, that's sold out, uh, doing my best that, uh, and that's enough um emotional so i guess six, uh, six months oh this is for uh for kids mini emotional oh yeah i mean it's they're very simple design i mean the the logo <laughs> the logo is more more uh you know thought out or more complex than than the the shirts themselves white tears here oh uh this is a uh is that the uh, oh uh mini cry a lot cry a lot there practice empathy i ding ding i love that uh very i think that's one i mean one of my strengths uh is being very empathetic and uh they have jewelry as well so rings 
they I mean they didn't even really talk about the rings. Um but pretty cool. Twenty five dollars for an overthinker ring. They got uh, other kids stuff. Uh let's see, hoodies, sensor uh, sensory overload. I mean, to me, it's it's pretty it's pretty incredible to take uh, words and then you put them and then go and get that bag. Uh, so I'd love seeing people faces uh, is great as well as uh, they got stickers here and uh, th there's the Shark Tank and Shark Tank's scrolling across the top as seen on Shark Tank got some some reviews not just popular online but in real life too. And then let's jump over to the Instagram. So this is where uh, it seems like a lot of it's happening. Oh, there's a link tree here. So, oh, okay. So there's there's the other uh, I think you know, stuff on Amazon too. I, I didn't see all those links. I, I just grabbed the uh, the Instagram. But let's start. Let's start here. Uh, let's see. Restock was is May fifth. So uh, that that just passed. Uh, oh no, that's not past. That's today. That's today. Yeah, it's restock of eight thousand. Jeez, oh man, I was thinking yesterday with May the fourth. Um, eight thousand in, in interactions there, engagement there. Seventeen thousand engagements there with Shark Tank. Let's see. I I liked I liked this one. This too shall pass on uh, on the inside of the hat. Uh, I as I'm a very big um, believer in in this too shall pass. So thirteen weeks ago. 24 weeks ago so as far as instagram goes I, I mean there's not it's not like she's pumping out content every single day here um mini restock just dropped so i, I mean i don't i mean she has all these clothes but i don't know i'm still kind of curious if she's uh if sophie's dropped like sending it out herself or if she's which maybe she is. I mean, that there, it's not like there's a ton, a ton of posts here on Instagram at, at least. So we got four. Wow, four TikTok is. What, what are we here? We we're at there. 132,000 TikTok is 488,000 followers, and a whole lot more engagement and views over here with 7.7 uh, .7 million likes. Absolutely incredible to see the power. Of, and it looks like yeah so she it looks like she if is if you're seeing this that means i just aired on yeah so uh I, lo I love that she just dropped the video there and tons of boxes so she is shipping this stuff herself uh which is pretty pretty awesome so over on youtube sixty thousand subscribers that is great to see two weeks ago studio vlog uh with fifteen thousand views so she is definitely you know, she didn't really go and call herself an influencer or anything like that, but uh, it certainly seems like she's living the the influencer uh, aspect with with you know, especially on YouTube and TikTok. Uh, so you got Pinterest with eight hundred and eighty three followers a week ago. So she's she's posting some stuff uh, to to it uh, somewhat somewhat regularly, and then over on uh amazon it doesn't uh i i guess this is just items in in the shop i'm not quite sure what's up with that um i was curious is it my business essentials oh these are the things that she uses in her business with her business migraines stay hydrated warehouse stuff so it's all the things that, that she uses. So I may, I'm uh, I'm wondering if she gets like a commission on any of this stuff that's being. I'm gonna say maybe, possibly. Um, but yeah, uh, case to five phone case. What is this? Uh, okay, so she's designed some phone case. Seventy eight dollars for a phone case. Holy cow. Uh, yeah. Oh, very cool. Very cool. Anyway, Sophie, I'd love to have you come on the show for a uh, interview, talk about your Shark Tank experience and everything like that. Just drop a comment down below. Like Connor says, Joe, I found your videos over the last few weeks. I watch them every day uh, on the train ride home from work. Keep up the great content. I am learning a lot. I'm so glad that you're learning. I'm learning as well. I think that that is such an important aspect uh, to the to well to life, but also to this this channel uh, and to the to the super community. Right? We we learn and then we teach while we're learning 
always be learning, always be teaching, uh, wear the black and the white belt at the same time. Uh, Connor, glad to have you here in the super community, and I hope your train ride's going well today, or if you're, I, I don't know, I'm dropping this at, what time is it? 9.50 at night uh, on the East Coast, so if, if you're on, maybe if you're on the West Coast and you're riding the train while you're watching this right now, uh, I appreciate you. I hope the train's going well for you. Anyway, I'll see you in one of these two videos over here. Take care and go be super.